Sinistalker back here for another video. In this video right here, I've been asked a few times, hey Danny, why don't you show us your room more, a little room tour and see what kind of random stuff you have in your room. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've asked a bunch of questions before about showing my room off again, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you some of the movies I got, some of the random things I have, like magazines, posters, all kinds of random stuff I have in my room. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Hope you guys like it. Let's get down to it. Let's go stock around the Sinner Stalker's room. Alright, might as well start off over here where my movies are at. So, you know, a lot of my VHS's are right here on the shelf. Just got this thing like a couple of months back. Got my DVDs down here. Some of them, I got more behind me, I'll show you in a bit. But I might as well start off right here with some of my movies. I got some of my stacked up right there. Some of the things I haven't watched yet, but I got, you know, that. Dan, that's your phone recently with Sean. Thunder Warrior 3, which is a nice cheese ball. Fun one right there, the Thunder Warrior franchise really fun low budget fun crap um, Frank and Hooker of course Boogans I love these movies it's kind of a guilty pleasure of these movies by City Lights I have some more uh, down here these ones City Lights man if you get anything by City Lights definitely try to find them they're really fun low budget action flicks it's really good crap I mean look at this stuff you know the newly dead I mean look at that with the gory kind of back cover look at that you know, cheesy like horror action shit you know I gotta love crap like that before I get off track I'm gonna show you what I have right here these are double deep I got you know movies behind these movies so I'm just gonna kind of show them quickly sort of a little rundown of what I have right here in my collection so here's my got my big boxes right here that's a really cool one look at that oh man the pictures of Dorian Gray the thriller video hosted by Elvira pretty cool movie I just love these old thriller video boxes. Look at that shit. That is just awesome right there. Very, very cool. Tarantulas, another good one of those killer like insect movies back in the 70s. One of my favorites right here. Werewolves on Wheels by Unicorn Home Video right there. And these are always really rare. Like I got this one for a really great deal a while back. And it's probably one of my, one of my most expensive VHS tapes is this one right here. <clears throat> very cool. Hard one to get, but very, very awesome. And you get, you know, got my little Warner clam shells right here. You're gonna love Razorback. Great Aussie killer warthog pig movie. East End Hustle. This is the uh, rare uh, Canadian release of this movie right here. Another really cool, kind of a neat uh, vigilante movie right there. Really good stuff. And you get Satan's Blood, Horror House. What's funny, real quick about Satan's Blood, the cover of this looks like Satan's Blade that came out recently. So, same artwork, but entirely a different movie. And I got my Something Weird Video collection right here. These are always kind of cool, wacky movies by Something Weird Video. Okay, also, I got some movies up here stacked up. You know, one of my recent favorite finds, one of my rare movies, is Young Dragons Kung Fu Kids 2. I got this for a dollar. And it's like an 80 buck tape or so, so very cool find. But now I'm gonna show you what's behind these movies because I got some more right over there, as you can see. I have some more of my big boxes. You know, this is a Skateboard Madness, The Cremators, Daughters of Darkness, Naked Angels, which is a cool Roger Corman produced, you know, biker movie. Very awesome. I meet him in a couple of weeks at D-Day the B-Movies. I cannot wait to meet Roger Corman. That's gonna be insane. Definitely have him sign this. Cannot wait to meet that legend right there. Then next to that, I get Thunder Warrior 2 from Transworld Entertainment. You know, the big clamshell right there of that. Gotta love Transworld Entertainment. One of my favorite companies from back in the day. Uh, so right behind that, I get my you know, Shocking Asia, Mondo Magic, some Neon Video, which is a pretty cool defunct company now also. This one, when women lost their tails. I've never seen this yet, actually. Looks like a weird um, sort of. I don't know what the hell it's about. Weird sci-fi flick or something. Then you get this killer-ass movie, Ninja Wars. Look at that cover. I mean, with a cover like that, you cannot go wrong with some good old-fashioned martial arts action from these really cool. You know, I love these kind of big-ass clamshells from back in the day. Very, very neat. Oof, man. Some stuff behind that. More clamshells. More over there. I got some WWF ones right here. WrestleMania one. Gotta have that. And of course, probably my favorite WrestleMania of all time. 
WrestleMania 3, man. You gotta love that one. Like 93,000 people. Hulk Hogan's a giant. Look at that thing. I just love that cover art to that. Way wicked. And what is next to this? What, what do I have here? Oh, I got some. Looks like some 80 sleaze. Beverly Hills Call Girls. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why I have this, but I had to have it. And then you get some movies up there, too. Trinidad Part 2, all right, you know, right there with the original soundtrack, which is awesome. Hollywood Cop, great movie, really good cheese. Definitely seek that out if you can. It's like piss your pants funny. And that now below that, another shelf of VHS Insanity. Oh, look at all these right here. Got all these. Oh, man. And this is what's cool about this. This is coming out on Blu-ray DVD next month from all of films in September. Which I never thought this would come out, but I cannot wait to check this out on Blu-ray. That's going to be really, really cool. This is a very awesome, kick-ass, cheeseball action flick. Deadly Prey. Definitely watch this when you can. And pick it up. It's freaking cool. Tales from the Hood. You gotta love that one. Hide and Go Shriek. Really cool movie of these uh, people in the mall. And they, uh, there's like a weird dude stalking them and stuff like that. Really good cheese. Move some stuff up here. I'll get two editions of Drop Dead Fred. Why? Because it's rare and I figured might as well get it. This one's out of print, under wraps. It's like an 80 buck movie, but a really cool like Disney movie from back in the day. Nice fun shit right there. So I got stuff all stacked in there. Like, oh man, so taking these down. You know, what have I got here? Good old Deathbed. Hard Rock Zombies. Good shit. Gotta love the willies. I got this on tape too. My double sl slip willies. And of course, you know, gotta have these documentaries. Rewind this and adjust your tracking. You gotta love those documentaries right there. Right, there's some, you know, more stuff behind this. You know, Doogie Hauser. Those are out of print now. So if you find those at a thrift shop or anywhere, definitely get the Doogie Hauser sets. You know, that's the most ones that are cool find I picked up recently too. Was, you know, body parts. That's out of print. It's like three or 40 bucks. Got it for like five. This was a great thing, getting this signed by William Freakin, my Exorcist movie. Gotta love that, that guy was so cool. It's a bunch of random stuff, you know, Jack Frost. Glad I found that also, out of print one. A couple of Code Red ones, I got more behind me, I'll show in a sec. And more VHS, which I can't go through all these, but damn, there's like a whole bunch more down there in the bottom. All right, so kind of a quick little rundown of my stack shelf full of tapes and DVDs. And over here, oops, before I go down to the Blu-rays, let me just check out these real quick. I got this, you know, I have my Swamp Thing toy, which I found the other day. Mother Swamp Thing toy I found a couple weeks prior to getting that one, got that right there. Next to that, I got, you know, Creature from Black Lagoon, had the guy Ben Chapman, the guy that played the creature, had him sign that years back, back in 06. Robert England autograph, really cool. Right up here, Leatherface VHS video store promotional item from back in the day. This used to have a whole body, but now it's just the head. But I bought this at Kingston Video and was going out of business, so I bought that. Glad I had that. It's a pretty rare piece to have. And next to that, which is also pretty rare, which I've even seen this online, it's got the Curse 4 Ultimate Sacrifice video store promotional item back in the day, still in the original packaging. I got that for a great deal uh, from the movie. I think it's called AK Catacombs, but Curse 4. Really cool, like the little toe tag right there. And I got this thing, which is awesome, like a weird, obscure thing. It's Back to the Future 3 gigantic clamshell. I'll open up this clamshell real quick so you can see what's inside. Let's open that up. Bam. Oops. Tape right there. Back to the Future 3 tape. And you got this like little promotional things right here. Um, for video shops, like standees, all kinds of stuff you can promote in your video store back in the day when this came out. So I've never seen this online, this piece, but it's a very cool one. I'm glad I have it. Very, very neat. Then moving on from the Back to the Future, I go to this right here. Some of my posters, Motel Hell, Prince of Darkness, The Fog, and the Phantasm, Lord of the Dead, big ass poster. Got that for a great deal. Below that, you get some Iron Maiden action too. And from that, I might as well show some of these. Some of my Blu-rays, more just DVDs right here. There's all my Blu-rays right here. I don't have a whole ton of them, but I'm glad the ones I do have, because I'm just kind of picky when I get them. So here's all the Arrow ones I was talking about. Some Twilight Time ones. Code Red. There's a bunch of random ones. There's all the Shout Factory ones I have. Right over there. Then also I have some more blues behind this right here. Besides that, this is a DVD. 
There's some other ones all behind that. All right, so a quick little rundown of this section right here, my flicks and some posters and things like that. Now from over here to over here, we got my Evil Dead poster. I showed that before, you know, autographed by actress director. Got that from my buddy Derange Duncan. Some little figures I'll show a little more in better detail. And some DVDs. My, these are probably my, my favorite DVDs are on this shelf. Like my, I got my favorites over there too. These are the ones I really, really enjoy. My little Mashems figure from back in the day when I was a kid. Glad I found that thing. Which is you squeeze it and it morphs back into that shape. Got some concert DVDs right there. Some heavy metal, death metal, other movies. Repo Man 10, Anchor Bay 10. Some more flicks. I'm going to go in that business blockbuster. I got those last year. And it's the whole row. Full of movies right here. I'll kind of show you guys what I have right there. Good old super tape with Hogan, Bruce, the Barber, Beefcake, Michelangelo, stuffed animal, what the hell. Some other stuff right here, some out of print ones. Gotta love The Worst Witch. Definitely wash out if you can. Baby Blood, Brain Scan. Two copies of Cemetery Man. Why? Because it's out of print. Guardian, great movie about these killer tree kind of people. Nightmare on Elm Street figure. Retro Terminator toy when I was a kid. And there was some TV movie kind of things right there. And here's all my Code Red titles. Got a whole bunch of those. I do love my Code Red stuff. Those are probably one of my favorite companies. Savage Streets. Then up here, a couple of toys. You know, ECW originals right here from back in the day. Shane Douglas. Just incredible. And over here, some of my, my reaction figures. Good old Escape from New York. Gotta love that. I got another reaction figure over here, I'll show you. Ripley from Alien. Got this from my friend Lauren. Thank you very much for getting me this. Very cool. Who man. I'm not even done yet. Whew. Let's get down to it. Let's just go show some more stuff. That's just the movie part. A quick little rundown. Oh, man. Show this. I have a Terror Within poster. Dumb Land. Really cool cartoon from David Lynch. And some other mystery posters. Let's see what's in these. Stephen Turtles Part 2, Secret of the Ooze. Now in home video. Oh man, featuring by Vanilla Ice. Gotta love that. And I like this. I got the How to Make Your Own Ooze. But yeah, it's a cool poster I got for free. I also got another one right here, which is really cool. And this other poster I have, which I gotta get this framed up, is Zombie. Look at that. From Magnum Entertainment right there. Look at that bitchin' poster. Pretty much like mint. This is like from the early 80s this came out. When and the movie came out on videotape, so how cool is that? Pretty rare poster right here. I got this for a great deal. I gotta frame it up and put it like up there or something like that. I definitely gotta do that. But I thought I'd show you guys a couple of cool posters I have just hanging out here in my room in the corner. Also, I'll show you those posters, and I gotta show you this. Not really a poster, but kind of, you know, a video store promo thing. I got this Fly 2 still in the package video store promo, and pretty much you fold it up, and it looks like a gigantic. VHS tape. I don't know if I'll ever open this up, but I just wanted to show you guys a little random kind of cool thing. Then over here I got some more movies. Look at that. I got all my Roger Corman collection flicks. More movies here. Like, oh shit. Times Square. That's a cool one. Pretty rare too. And more freaking videotapes. Look at that. I got a whole stack of tapes. Like a crazy so bastard. Something behind here. I got my vintage Super Mario Land Game Boy. Uh, box. I still got my Game Boy over here. I'll show you guys in a bit, but yeah, I kept the damn box. I wish I would have kept all the boxes. Those are pretty damn cool. I pull out my drawer right here, and I got a bunch of Fangoria and Gorzo magazines in here. Look at, like, look at all this stuff. Oh, this is one of my first ones I got. It was Extro right there. Very cool. It has the old, you know, Texas Chance on Massacre, uh, you know, Wizard video game. Uh, collection room. Look at that. That thing is rare now. If you find that, that is like a lot of money. Really, really cool. Alright, the next to the uh, extra Fangoria to show you, I got the, my Fangoria one. I both, I got those both when I was like 11 years old. And when I was older, I had you know, Robert England sign this bad boy right here. Very cool, man. The 50th issue. Very retro. And then, you know, next to that, I found some like, you know, old ass Ninja Turtles book. How to Duck Cards in the Wax Pack. Just a whole bunch of Fangories when I was younger, when I was a kid, like in the 90s. That was my, that's when I would get them and stuff. I don't really get them as much anymore, but you know, with Ticks, Dark Half, Friday the 13th, Jason Goes to Hell, Dracula, Dr. Giggle, Jason Goes to Hell trading cards, still with, you know, the foil wrapping on it. Gotta have that. 
Then also my vintage ECW catalogs from back in the day, from like 96, 97. You have to like order, you know, the t-shirts and all that kind of thing in the videos. I'm sure I did get a couple of those, but as I just kept these ever since. These are pretty cool. I also have a couple of little random little guide things in here, like this retro toy one, which is pretty cool. I showed a while back. I showed my old proton packs and stuff. That's kind of neat though. All those toys and the Mario Brothers 3 from the game. Little uh, booklet in there. That's kind of cool. I don't know why I have these, but just a little, couple of random things I have thrown in the drawer. And then in my drawer, I get my vintage Game Boy from when I was a kid. Look at this dusty shit on here. Get some of that off. But you know, Mario Land, Fall the Foot Clan, Snoopy's for some damn reason. Mega Man 2, Oop, Mega Man 3, sorry. And then a Tetris is what it came with. I got the original cables and the headphones too from back in the day. Let's power this thing up and see if it works. Oh, there it is. We got power and we are playing with power. Nintendo power. Oh, shit, look at that. There it is. Works just like brand new. Bam, look at that. And there we go. And then I'm gonna die. What the hell? But yeah, look at that shit. Still works from like 25 years ago or something like that. Very first Game Boy when they came out. Not Game Boy Color, but Game Boy. Oh man, hell yeah. And you know what reminds me? I gotta show my Nintendo real quick. We had all these movies. Oh, more stacks of flicks. Oops, and oop. Is my Nintendo right there? Oh yeah. I'll show you the games I have right now. And here it is, my Nintendo video game case. We flip it open. And you get my games. Look at that. Guardian Legend, Ninja Turtles, Legend of Cage, Ace of Love, This Game, TNC, Surf Designs, Legend of Zelda, Metroid, Mario ones. I got more of them in my drawer. I can't show them right now. They're all stacked behind stuff. I got like Mario 3, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Double Dragon 2, good old Jaws. But yeah, I got some of my games right there. Kind of go coincides with my Nintendo Game Boy. Just some random crap. Gotta love that shit though. I love NES. I know I do. My original Garbage Pail Kids stickers and cards when I was a kid right here. I used to love these. Then behind those, I got my Ninja Turtle trading cards too, which are, you know, kind of cool. Oh man, that was fun doing that. That's it for my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. Little room tour action. Me showing you what kind of stuff I have in here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like my movies and posters, Game Boy stuff. I figure what the hell, might as well show it, you know? But I realize I still have a lot more stuff i got to show. So I will do a part two of this video sometime down the line showing you more things I have. Like my vintage toys growing up as a kid, comic books and things like that. I will do that in a future video sometime down the line. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Love to hear your feedback and what you guys think of what I showed. And make sure to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm always on there posting stuff, whatever I get, and upcoming things going on. And so do that if you like. I'll catch you guys later in the next video. I'll see you.